Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie, and if you are new, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe. In today's video, I am making some missing you cards, and these are two. Whoa, my desk moved. Sorry. These are to donate to Cards for Kindness by Scrapbook.com. Alrighty. So. Here is one of the cards that we will be making. Very simple, kind of mystery style card is also postcard style. Um, but yes, cute little butterfly and a simple missing you sentiment. Okay, so these are going to be, um, okay, I have a couple more of those to make, sorry couple more with the kind of cherry blossom tree and then I have this beautiful sunset landscape that I'm going to use so let's get these cut down I also have some more bases to cut um I do have my paper trimmer right here And I am going to start from the bottom and these are going to be matted onto the craft cardstock. And we are jumping right in. So these are going to be cut at five and a half by four. So we'll get six out of the 12 by 12. So here's one five and a half or five and a quarter, sorry. Did I say five and a half? It'll be five and a quarter by four. And then we have a little scrap piece. So if you are new to card making and never done mystery cards, you're basically cutting the scrap of paper uh, upside down so you can't see it. I think it would be more fun if you didn't even know what paper you were cutting up. I don't know how you would do that for yourself, but that would be interesting. <laughs> um, but these papers, the, the scrap of papers are from a very old uh, paper pad that had kind of more photographic images in them. Okay, let's cut this up. So since this is postcard style, I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter by five and a half, and that will give me four A2 card bases. Now, if you want a folded card, you would score one of those lines, and then you would either have like a portrait or landscape or a portrait flip up yeah lot, lots of options there so and i kind of saved cutting this up again just in case if you're new to card making it's a cool little trick i wasn't new to card making but um i did not know that for the longest time <laughs> But I also did not make um, specific sizes. I, I would usually find my envelope and then make the card to fit in the envelope. That's how I would do my card making. And I have a lot of envelopes from greeting cards. So they are kind of funky sizes. But since I am donating these, they do ask uh, for them to be A2 size. Or if they're not, you can send um, envelopes that fit them. So they are flexible <laughs> in that sense. Okay. Um, real quick, let me glue these on. This is line lines printed on copy paper. 
Um, and I did use my porch prints line papers digital kit. Uh, they do have one where it just prints lines. And I like lines. We do have a lot of newcomers, so I'm very excited that you're here. Oh my goodness, I haven't uploaded much this week. It's, uh, it's been a rough week. Not sure why, just... Well, yeah, it's been a rough couple weeks. I think I said it in like the last video, just motivation lacking, but it's fine. We will, that's why this design is so simple. It's like, I just, I know I have so many ideas, but they all kind of just went away. <laughs> so, um, my next video, I need to make a birthday card for my brother-in-law whose birthday has oh, okay, already passed. Oh my goodness, oh, pencil, watch out. Um, but yeah, that one's gonna be very fun and colorful. So I am very excited. I do have ideas for that one. Yeah, just, I don't know, I, I feel like when I'm not feeling well or I'm struggling, I think uh, donating is a, a, a good, I don't know, way to, to spend your time. I don't know. I do that too when I'm like struggling financially. It's like, okay, it could be worse let's donate to someone who needs needs it more than I do. So, <sighs> kinda trick yourself into to understanding it's, it's not as bad as it may feel, I guess. Does that make sense? I don't know. But I hope all of you are well. Oh, I talked through just gluing these things on. I'm sorry, that was probably really boring. I probably should have stopped talking and uh, not shown you that part. I apologize. Okay, so for the butterfly. All right, let me show you some prep that I did do. I did use this. Then let's die. Does this have a name other than a number? Wild flower stems. And this one is brush stroke butterflies. Found that on clearance. How lovely. Um, so yeah, I used this little one. I have those cut out here. And then I have the big butterfly. Um for the butterflies this is just white cardstock and it was sprayed with some mica spray in antique bronze and this is a light pink cardstock sprayed with mustard seed distressed oxide spray so that is kind of the prep i did I need this to stamp another sentiment on. Let's do that really quick. So what has everyone been up to? My, I've been helping my friend declutter and rearrange and organize her room. rag is very far away okay <laughs> we'll use this rag okay um been doing that 
bits. And then my work work has gotten kind of busy all of a sudden. But that's that uh, happens. We'll have a couple weeks where there's nothing and then all of a sudden uh, lots to do. Needs to be put away. Um, okay, so for the butterfly, I did want it to be very kind of tone on tone, but I did do some extra coloring on these extra bits just to give some contrast. And I used a color pencil, Distress Watercolor Pencil. Use the color speckled egg. Let's uh, close this up. Okay. Okay, so let's color these pieces. It's hard to tell. It's very, very, very faint. But can you see the slight difference in color? <laughs> I did start off with hickory smoke, but that just looked dirty, so. I switched over to speckle egg, but it kind of feels like it's not doing anything until you put it down on the other piece. And then it's like, okay, I can kind of see the difference. It's also just fun to color. I did not color the body. I kept that piece white. This one, you're not going to be able to see anything. It is very heavily sprayed with the mica. Okay. Okay, and then these just get glued on. What I don't like about this die set is if you want different colors, you have to cut all the pieces out. <laughs> including the body so if you want a black body you have a black butterfly and all these black pieces I don't know it's a little wasteful unless you're supposed to break it apart somehow but I don't know how to do that and I am not going to even try that would make me uh, to I don't know, uncomfortable doing. <laughs> my, my daughter was playing at her grandma's house and she got like giant splinters in her fingers and she would not let us take them out. It took two days to get them out. I had to try doing, try to, I, well, uh, <laughs> I had to try taking them out while she was sleeping. I got most of it out that way. Okay, not putting glue on the antenna part at this point. There we go. And our butterfly is complete um the other oh we didn't look at those yet don't look let's get these glued on i didn't do any inking or anything butterfly I did kind of try to shape it a little bit and I only glued down this this side and I did glue down the antennas they're a little dainty and I don't want them to break off
There we go. Oh, I have to fussy cut the missing you. One of my favorite TV shows is going to be coming back. I'm very excited. It is Claim to Fame. I guess I should say one of my like reality favorite TV shows. I don't, I don't watch too much reality TV, but this one is so good. It's fun to watch and play along but it is a bunch of people who have famous relatives and you kind of have to guess who their famous relative is. Comes back in July. Here we go. And I just put this on white cardstock. I think I said that. I just flipped over my butterfly paper. And that works. There we go. Missing you. Very pretty. Should we glue these on together real quick? Nope, let's just, let's make one of these. And, um, yeah, since it's all kind of the same, but thank you for hanging with me while I, you know, glue papers together. <laughs> I hope you're working on something fun as well. All the, all the things are cut through. It's just like, it does not want to come apart though. Do I have all the little bits? Okay. Yes, this will be cute. Okay. The first reveal. I'm just going to glue it down. That's pretty. Although I don't really care for the edge. Looks like it got torn a little bit, but. Nothing. I mean, there are things I guess I could do, but I'm not going to. It is fine. Okay, I have to figure out what I'm gonna put the missing you on. I don't think I want to use the pink. Maybe like a an ivory cardstock. Found some scraps. <laughs> I think there is a hair on my stamp have the same kind of, oh my goodness, it was that rag. Same imperfection happening over and over. Okay, that's better. Need it to dry. I'm gonna have to stamp those again. I'm not gonna make all of these with you guys because again, it's the same thing over and over and over and over. let's glue these down and then I'll glue down the other mystery pieces 
um, and show those to you guys before we end the video. I am actually, since the little leafy sprig here is gonna be glued down all the way, I'm wondering to get some dimension maybe the sentiment should be popped up. All right, you get this down. Oh, so pretty. And the paper is doing all the hard work. I think I like these more than the butterflies. Okay, let me get these other, um, at least the card mats down, and then I will show you all of those. I'll be right back. Um, also, this Missing You sentiment came from Mimi. Made it uh, all occasions. Already, are you ready to see the cards? The, the, the stuff is not glued on them. These are just the bases. And they are really pretty. So good. Okay, I am gonna finish those up off camera, but we are going to end the video here because they all look the same. Fun little mask make for um, donation. But yes, these are my two cards and I hope you will take this as an idea that you can build off of. I mean, you can definitely add some sewing, you can add some mesh, you can use your favorite papers. Um, cards like this, I like them to be simple where you have a lot of writing space. So the focus is really on the recipient. And there's, there's just, there's not a lot of fuss to the card itself. It's like, this is all about you. and. Since it's a missing you card, I wanted it to be a little more simple so it could be all about the recipient. And I mean, when you have pretty paper, you don't have to put a lot of work in because the paper does the hard work for you. But yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel inspired and motivated and you get some good crafting time in today. If you are new and you are still here, I hope you will consider subscribing, liking the video, leaving me a comment down below. And if you need a prompt for your comment, let me know which one you like better, the butterfly or the leaves, the leafy twig. I don't know what you call that. <laughs> Thank you again. Let's get together again soon.